This is not the SH figure, it's Zamasu from Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> oh man. What's up everyone, thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffles, and today we're going to be looking at, you guessed it, it's Legend Creation. It has returned back on my table because you guys wanted it. If you're thinking this is real, no! This is a fake, this is a clone, this is a China clone, this is bootleg, this is KO, it's a knockoff. This is something you get on eBay for $20 because you did not want to spend the $60, which is about the price of the real one still, even though he's been released for about a year now. So he's not even that much, but you decided to go the cheaper route. Well, you know what? I went that route with this guy. We're going to see how he is in terms of paint and detail, articulation, scale, and accessories. Is it worth it? I'm going to tell you right now, I don't like Legend Creation. So, <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. Sometimes we'll get a surprise like a Broly. Um, so, uh, Nintendo 64 in chat has said, these are mostly back shelf. Let's throw this guy away. Hold on, let's go to the top cam. Uh, back shelf action figures. That means you put these in the back of your shelf because you don't really care about them, but they're there to serve as a placeholder of some sort. So, there you go. We'll see how it is. First, we're going to go into paint and detail, and we'll see how it is in articulation and scale and accessories last. So, this, this thing's taped up. I know there are a lot of people out there who think they're getting a good deal when they go on eBay and they're like, oh, what? The SH Figure Arts is $20? Oh, I could save so much money, and it's coming from China? And <laughs> yeah, don't fall for those tricks. If it's cheap, it's probably too good to be true. So watch out, people. I know there's some people out there that get scammed by these Chinese companies. So be careful. And there you have it already. Woohoo! All right, cool. He doesn't, his head did not come attached. That's fine. Let's put that, let's pop that back in. That's okay. All right, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Not a good start, but we're okay. First and foremost, the first thing I noticed just by looking at this guy, super shiny face, there is no matte finish on this guy at all. No, no, no. Uh, so they didn't even bother to finish it. But the suit looks okay. We do have some, it doesn't look that clean, but and I mean, it works, I guess. Uh, and most importantly, let's be real. We're never going to get, pro and... Huh. Huh. Yep. Hmm. I should never try to to sidekick with these because this just broke. Let's look at that. Yeah, <laughs> this is broken. Uh, so let's look here. That was kind of a shock, honestly. Uh, so because he doesn't have a side articulation like the real one, uh, this this joint here snapped. When I even put a little bit of force, it wasn't even that much force, and it it popped off. So there you have it. Uh, he can front kick. So there now we have a one-legged Zamasu, and where did his little shoulder pad thingy go? So there you have it. Also, yeah, it seems like his neck is a little bit short, so he kind of has a short neck uh, going on here. So I mean, no, yeah, that's not a good start to this figure, guys. Let's just be real here. That breaking was not good. It looks like they gave mine, especially mine, weak joints. But let's see how he compares. So, whoa, look at this, guys. So Mr. Satan was uh, the last one we did. Look at this. The scale is incredibly off, like, by a lot. This is no joke. Whoa. This is not good at all. Not even worth it. He's going to be way too short. Yeah, the real one is much taller, much bigger much more proportion whereas the fake does not look that good at all he looks like a kid version of zamasu oh man not good not good so there it is in terms of paint and detail this is not a good start to this unboxing of this fake especially since this is a straight clean cut of that snap joint that is wow that is really bad let's go into articulation and scale this guy's standing at six and three quarters let's look at the real one real quick now look at this one. Uh, no, six and three quarters. Is that right? Did I get did I get that right? No, that's five and three quarters. I'm sorry, five and three quarters. The real one is almost at the tippy top of the hair. 
six and a half inches tall. I can't even get that on the screen. There you go. He's, he's six and a quarter, if anything. So the real one is much taller, much bigger, not worth it. So let's get the real Mr. Satan here. So there he goes. He's as tall as the real Mr. Satan. Let's put him aside. Let's see how he is and compared to Marvel Legends. So he's shorter than Captain America there. And here's the fake Mr. Sadan. <laughs> so that's how they scale. We have a real deal Bring Art Sora right here. And last but not least, we got to compare him to Goku, right? This is Saiyan Race on Earth Goku. And he is like just about as tall. So if you were to put Zamasu next to Goku, he should be taller. So this is the real one. So he should be taller in terms of hair, at least with the hair included. Okay, let's get into articulation. We have an up and down here at the toe. We have a ball joint here at the ankle. We have a double joint knee right there. We have an up and down here at the, <laughs> at the waist. We do have some sort of swivel there. We have a uh, waist swivel and the top and the bottom. So we can do ab crunches. Uh, of course, there is no butterfly joint. Let's see if the real one even had. Yeah, so the real one does have butterfly joints right there. Whereas the fake does not have it. Most legend creations do not include that. Um, and do we have biceps swivel? Yes, we do. Really tight one. And we have Ben here at the elbow, ball and peg here at the wrist, and two at the neck, looking to be well above 20 points. But what's the point when you can't even stand? <laughs> what's the point? What's the point, right, guys? All right, so let's look at the accessories here. Let's go to the top end. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So we do have his mutated arm. We're going to actually see if this fits on the real one, too. And we have extra faces. Uh, we do have his little halo thing that goes in the back. And we have the extra hands and whatnot. So um, let's, oh so yeah, here's the other, other faces too. We have this face right here. And this face right here when he's going crazy. So let's go to the front cam. Let's do some face swaps. We're, we're going to go through this, okay, guys? Everyone on Twitch, I know, I know. This is kind of painful to watch. But we're we're going we're going to go through this, okay? <laughs> and then I could end this right now because I do not like this. And there you have it. There's his angry face right there. Uh, let's keep moving. We're gonna also see if the faces will work with the real one. Uh, and there you have it. There he is going crazy. Uh, oops, I was supposed to put the hair. Come on. And let's see. Give me one second. We're gonna go through this, guys. Uh, <laughs> I don't like this toy. It's bad. It's really bad. Okay, so there you have it. There's the crazy face. And let's move on to the last face. And there he is yelling. Ooh, what is going on with this? Ooh, what is that? Okay, that's just some foam there. I thought it was a mishap. So there he is, yelling, screaming, getting angry. Ugh, not a pretty face at all. Yeah, he really got mutated here. All right, so let's see if the real faces will work with the... I mean, the, the fake faces work with the real one. So let's say you lost the faceplate. I don't think it's going to work because it, it is scaled much smaller. Oh, wait, yeah, it is going to work. Okay, all right. Okay, gotta give credit where credit's due. The front hair, okay, yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh wait, that's the real front hair. This is the fake one. So there you have it. Is it, the, I don't know which one's real or fake anymore. <gasps> wait, no, that is the real one. Let's put the fake one. Yeah, I can tell the, the quality is definitely different. And then the fake one even fits on the real one right there too. So you can use the, the faces. There you go. There it is. If you want a really, <laughs> if you want a really mutated Zamasu, so there you go. You can get it. There you go. That seems to work right there. So the faces are interchangeable, which is really nice. I guess if there's anything we can take away from this figure, you know, I don't want to fully trash a figure. There is they bootlegs do have a purpose, and it's that's to replace accessories. That's really it. Let's get the fake back in here. We're pretty much done here. Let's remove the arm so we can put this, pop this guy in. <laughs> I 
Oh, oops. <laughs> All right, everyone, give me a second. All right. And there he is. Oh, man. This guy is silly. So the arm does work. I mean, it was a little bit of a tight fit, but there you have it. Now he's super, super, super mutated. Now let's see here. Can this fit the real one? Give me a second. So we popped off the real one. Let's see if this will work. And the answer is not right away. So on camera right now, no, this will not pop in very easily. So unfortunate. You're gonna have to heat that up, heat up the socket of the real one if you want. Let's say you lost the arm and that's pretty much it. So we're done here. Let's come up with a conclusion. Is this worth it? No, <laughs> why? Why would anyone consider this? This is not cool. I guess if the positives would be, hey, yeah, I mean, if you lost the arm, I'm sure you can heat it up and put it on the real one. Or if you lost the faces, that's it, right? Not even worth it as a back shell figure, considering that the joints on mine, maybe not yours, you're gonna take a gamble if you buy this, are weak, and the leg just broke off. Look at look at that clean cut too. That was a very clean cut. Also, the joints aren't correct, like most legend creations. The leg joints don't have version two, and there's no butterfly joint. Also, he scaled smaller. Like really, really. Anyway, guys, that's my take on it. Don't buy this thing. If you do, I'm sorry. I'm, I apologize that you did. Or you got scammed and you thought it was the real thing. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when we post new videos. And if you want real deal, 100% awesome action figures, not like this, maybe something like this, like a real deal Zamasu or a real deal Goku, and you want awesome action figures, tell me where to go! You can go to www.dstartoys.com. Your reliable source for awesome action figures like these. Not like these. Throw that away, you don't need that. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys. <laughs>